Okay, so there are certain types of algebra problems that all algebra students must master, and this is one of those types of problems. It's a very, very common type of problem in algebra, but uh, even if you don't know algebra, let's see if you can figure this out. The problem is the sum of three consecutive integers is 30. We want to find the integers. Now, uh, of course, to solve this problem, you have to have an understanding of what the word consecutive means, and of course, you need to know what an integer is. And if you're not quite sure what these words mean, no problem, I'll explain this in a second. But first, I wanna give you a full opportunity for you to be able to solve this on your own. Okay, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then, of course, I am going to walk through the solution to this problem, and even if you don't know algebra, I think you'll understand the solution as this is not that difficult. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like, and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, uh, we have these three integers. We're looking for the integers, right? So we're looking for three numbers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is nine, 10, and 11. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, that's very good. Matter of fact, in my book, you definitely uh, earned a nice happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving basic algebra word problems. Be like, wow, I knew you were smart. I bet you're going to work for NASA one day. But uh, listen, all jokes aside, if you couldn't figure this out, if you're like, well, you know, I'm totally confused. What, you know, it's easier for you to uh, solve this because you know math. Well, listen, even if you don't know math, I think you'll understand the solution. What we have to do first is really kind of make sure you understand the words in this problem. Okay, which uh, specifically I'm talking about consecutive integers. All right, but uh, first things first, when we have a word problem in mathematics or any problem uh, anywhere, okay, even outside of math, uh, what you wanna do is stop and think about the problem, all right? So step one is to think. Now, what does that mean in terms of mathematics? Well, uh, thinking means that you want to read, all right? Well, you know, some of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is so silly. Of course, I have to read the problem. No, no, you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about reading the problem at least like three times. Just don't read it once and then start doing stuff. Think about the problem, okay? Reflect on it. Read it once, read it again, and to make sure you understand the question, all right? So, you know, really kind of ponder uh, you know, what's going on before you start stuff. So here, again, we have a word problem. You know, we read it a few times. Now we need to kind of uh, come up with some sort of model, right? Now, a model can be all sorts of different things. It could be a sketch. It can be, you know, uh, it really is a creative kind of process, but you want to try to model the information in the problem so you kind of visualize what's going on. But uh, in here, or this particular problem, excuse me, uh, you can't really model it if you don't understand what the, the words consecutive integers mean, right? Now, I'll get to that in just one second, but let's just quickly run through the basics of solving an algebra word problem. So the first thing is you want to try to model the situation if you can, but the second thing you want to do is you want to establish a variable. So in other words, uh, for example, uh, we could use the, uh, the variable x. Some, you might um, have, let's let x equal to some concept. And oftentimes, we're going to establish a variable to represent the unknown value that we're trying to uh, solve for in the problem, okay? Now, once you have a variable, what we want to do next is to set up some sort of equation, okay? We can't figure out what the variable is equal to unless we have an equation. Of course, we have to use the information from the problem. Uh, to set up an equation, and then we're going to solve this equation, okay? And after we solve the equation, we want to make sure we answer the right question. Okay, so that's just a general kind of um, overview of solving any uh, math problem, especially an algebra word problem. So let's go ahead and get into this now and make sure you understand what consecutive integers are. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about integers. 
integers are these type of numbers right here. Okay, so we'll start at zero. Then, uh, so this is zero is an integer. So we're going one, two, three. Now, technically, these numbers here, just as a quick review, these are what we call the natural numbers. Okay, natural or counting numbers. Way back in the good old days where there were cavemen and whatnot, they're running around. You know, they couldn't really express themselves too well, so they use the digits on their hand. They're like, hey, I see uh, three buffalo over there, so they hold up three digits, right? So that's where, you know, uh, that kind of terminology came from. But these were counting numbers, or naturally occurring numbers, things that we see uh, in the real world. Then zero right here, okay, this is the whole numbers. Okay, so when you include zero with the natural or counting numbers, these are the whole numbers. And now, if you have the whole numbers and the negative of the whole numbers, this entire set right here is what we call the set of integers. And this is all part of the real number system. Now, uh, some of you might be saying, you know, I don't need a whole math class, Mr. Two Math Man, on integers. Just, you know, show me what they are. Well, listen, if you um, want to get better at math, it's a good idea that you actually kind of understand where all this stuff falls into, you know, in terms of types of numbers and these uh, kind of terms, right? Because integers, you know, this will come up over and over again. All right, so it's not that difficult. So these are the set of integers. Okay, so now that we know what an integer is, we're not looking for numbers like three halves or 1.75. We're looking for these type of numbers. Now, what does the word consecutive mean? Well, consecutive means one right after the other. So, for example, one, two, and three are, this is a, an example of three consecutive integers. Okay, so these right here, uh, negative, um, negative three, negative two, negative one, this is three consecutive integers. Okay, all right, so uh, these are numbers that are just right next to one another. Okay, so now that you understand what uh, consecutive means and what integers means, now we can kind of start pulling information here to uh, uh, you know, build a solution. Okay, now remember our process, once we have a model, okay, and the model, you can just even do this as a model, we need to kind of think about some variables. So the next step here is we need to assign, we're looking for three integers. So let's just go ahead and just have one integer our first integer be x. So well, let's let x equal to our first integer. Now remember, things like three, four, and five, this is three consecutive integers, okay? So if three is our first integer, well, to get to the second integer, it's gonna be three plus one, okay? So these integers, consecutive integers, are separated by one, right? So the next integer here would be four plus one or three plus one plus one. Okay, so if x, if x is going to be our first integer, x plus 1 is our second integer, and then uh, our third integer is this x plus 1 plus another 1, or x plus 2, that is our third integer. Okay, all right, so now we have uh, basically our variables established. We have some sort of model on what's going on. Now we need to build an equation and solve for x. Now, if you know where I'm going with this and, you, and you're like, oh, I couldn't figure this out, but now I understand, you should always pause the video and see if you can finish the problem up. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next step, which, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This really, really, really helps me out. I wouldn't um, ask if it didn't help that much because it helps my uh, virtual classroom grow. I am trying to reach people that are interested in math, uh, you know, or just want to you know, relearn math, but particularly those that are having a tough time in math. Okay, I'm trying to reach those people and tell them, okay, I'm basically a, a messenger of hope that, listen, okay, whoever's telling you that you're bad in math, it might be yourself, okay, that's not true. Okay, what you need is gr uh, great math instruction, clear and understandable, and then you got to put in the effort and build your skills up step by step, okay? So if anyone in your past, okay, or currently right now, uh, to include yourself, you know, think that you cannot learn mathematics, that is not the case, okay? 99.99% of all of you out there can be great in math. But anyways, by you subscribing, it really does help me out big time to reach all those people. And make sure you hit that notification button as I am posting daily. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this problem up. So now we have our model, okay, x is our first integer, x plus 1 is our second integer, and x plus 1 plus 1 is our third integer. All right, so let's kind of reference back to the problem. 
So the sum of these three consecutive integers, right? We have um, a model now of these three consecutive integers, but the sum is 30, okay? The sum means what? Well, we have to add them up. And if we add them all up, uh, it is equal to, remember that word is in, uh, is equal to the equal sign, okay? So if we add up these three consecutive integers, that's going to be equal to 30. So that is kind of the uh, secret part of this problem that allows us to build an equation. All right, so here we go. So here's our equation right here. Here is our first integer. Okay, I'm actually uh, write it right here. This is our first integer. Remember x. Our second integer right here is x plus 1. And our third integer is x plus 2, or x plus 1 plus 1. And the sum of these three consecutive integers is 30. All right, so at this point in time, we're just talking about basic algebra. Uh, so we want to solve this equation for x. So let's go and get into that right now. All right, so here's the equation. This is not that difficult. First things, we're going to combine like terms. We have an x, x, and x, so that's 3x. We have 1 and a 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3. So here, our lovely equation is uh, down to 3x plus 3. Uh, 3x plus 3 is equal to 30. And to solve for x, all we have to do is subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. We have 3x is equal to 27. By the way, let me just stop real quick. If you are struggling, we you know, with the process of solving a basic algebraic equation, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. But you might want to check out like my pre-algebra course. Uh, you'll find a link to that in the description below or maybe algebra if you're at that level of math. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. So here, after subtracting 3, from both sides of the equation, I have 3x is equal to 27. So to solve for x, all I have to do is divide uh, the equation, both sides of the equation, by 3, and I get x is equal to 9. Now, at this point, a lot of students uh, would be very excited. They'd be like, yeah, I did the problem. I solved the problem. And then you go in and turn in your, your work, and then the teacher gives you like minus 8, and then you have this expression. Usually, usually it's a uh, you know, it's like, what are you talking about? I did this right. You know, uh, you, then, you know, your teacher, okay, might say, well, listen, you didn't answer the question. And then your your anger might turn to sadness uh, because, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, I didn't answer the question. I should have listened to that guy on YouTube. So just because you're done solving the, um, the equation, you have to stop, okay, and say, all right, what was the question again? Make sure you answer the question. And the question is, what are these three integers? So we solve the equation. Now we have to actually go back and find the integers. Okay, so x is equal to 9, right? We just figured that out. So we got to go back to our variable setup. So we let x equal to the first integer. So x is equal to 9. So our first integer is 9. x plus 1, or 9 plus 1, is our second integer, our second uh, consecutive integer. And then x plus 1 plus 1, or x plus 2, is our third integer. integer. So that's going to be 9 plus 1 plus 1, which, of course, is 11. And if we wanted to just uh, check this, we can uh, add up the sum of these three consecutive integers, 9, 10, and 11. Is it 30? Indeed it is. So again, this type of algebra word problem is what I call an oldie but goodie, okay? For those of you that like uh, music in the, you know, the 1950s and 60s, I like that music. You know, we call those oldies, right? <laughs> or kind of classic type of uh, music. But uh, this type of problem has been around for decades and decades and decades. I've been telling you, every single person taking an algebra course will face a problem like this. But um, hopefully, okay, even if you're not taking algebra, you learn something. And the one thing I want to really, uh, you know, my kind of ending message here is that if you do want to learn math or algebra or anything like that, you certainly can, okay? You, sit, you just got to build up your skill sets one at a time. And I would actually encourage a lot of you out there, especially if you ever, you know, um, you know, if you didn't do well in math in school and you kind of want to resolve that, you know, you just kind of maybe wonder, boy, could I have done better in math in school? I can tell you right now, absolutely 10,000% you could have done much better in math uh, than maybe you did back in high school 30, 40, 50 years ago, okay? Because think about it. When you're in high school, for example, you know, uh, you may not have been as focused. I know I wasn't. So if you do want to relearn mathematics, I have a ton of content on my channel. Uh, and, of course, you can take my formal uh, courses. You can check those out by following the links in the description. 
All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.